found himself a Rob Votek went in search of the people behind a sketchy employment service. But instead of having a run-in with them, he had a run-in with a totally different bad guy, a convicted felon who runs the building. It's like two Hall of Shame stories in one, Rob. That's right, Hugh LaMonica. I got a lot of complaints about this employment agency, but the mad manager of the building didn't care, and believe me, he let me know it. This is a story about an employment agency that's packing them in. If you're here just to pick up flyers, stand right here. It's also a story about a guy who wants me out. I just want to ask some questions. Don't ask the question. Take the camera down or I'm breaking. Job seekers who say this is a ripoff zone. And an angry guy who goes on the attack with a traffic cone. These people all needed money. They needed jobs. Each was handed one of these flyers from someone on the street which promised just that. Cockrell Employment Services is now hiring for letter carriers and customer service. Dominique gave the Cockrell agency a call. She said that um, the job was to re working at a post office, receiving and sorting out mail. Sounded great, but when Dominique yeah, went to the Cockrell agency, she was told a different story. She said that the, what we're really going to be doing is she's going to give us flyers and we're going to go door to door in our neighborhood and give, and give people the, the flyer so they can come in for an interview. Steve says the same thing happened to him. So your whole job was just to hand, out, hand these out these flyers. Papers, and I handed out at least five to 600 papers in about a month. Jamila fell for it too. The flyers say the same thing that I got. It said we're hiring for more letter carriers and more customer service people. So that's when the light went in my head, like, so you, you want us to get more, where's the job? That is the job. Seems to be the only job Cockrell Employment Services offers. Handing out these flyers to lure more people down to their office to get a job handing out these flyers. So how's the Cockrell Agency making money off this? By convincing everyone who comes into their office to buy one of these t-shirts. This is what I got for 30 bucks. That's a bad looking shirt. $30 for this. Everyone had to buy a Cockrell Services shirt. One size fits all. Six extra grande. All right. Six XL. And while the shirts may have been huge, the pay sure wasn't. In fact, many told me they never got paid at all. I worked for them for close to 30 days and didn't get a dime. Blake's the only one I talked to who says he got a paycheck. It was for eight bucks. I tried to deposit it in my bank account. They sent it back to me, said that that account, that they don't even have an account. I send an undercover camera person into Cockrell Employment Services Southfield office. The place is a madhouse. Everyone gets hired. Everyone has to buy a $30 shirt. Uniforms over here. Time for me to put on my uniform and go to work. But as you'll see, my job today won't be the typical nine to five. Hey there, I'm from Fox 2. I need to talk to you guys. Oh, I got this okay, thing. One second. One second. Hold okay, on. I got this one thing second. from. One says you guys have. But by the time I turn the corner, I run into this guy. Take your camera off. Okay. Take your camera off. Okay. You can't tell me. Hey, don't touch. Hey, hey, don't hey, touch. Hey, 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 Take the camera. I just want to ask some questions. Don't ask people. some questions. Take the camera down or I break it. Put it down. Don't put it on my face. So whose face is this? Hey, hey, hey. Get the out. Huh? It's friendly Fadi Khalif, the don't building owner. Right, yeah, okay. he's been in a bit of trouble. In fact, Fadi's on parole right now. You can't talk to nobody out. Go take your now remember, I'm trying to talk to the people at Cockrell Employment, but Fadi's having none of that. You two, put the camera there. Hey, hey, hey. We're trying to leave, but this guy's still on the attack. Now his security guards are protecting us from him. Take your camera and get, get them out from here. We are leaving. With one final charge, Fadi tries to cone my cameraman. As for the employment agency, the day after my visit, they bailed. Hey, look, there's one of their flyers. And look what's on the back of it. You're in the Hall of Shame. I spoke to Cockrell Employment's owner, Kiera Cockrell, on the phone. She says more than 50% of the people who work for her get real jobs other than handing out the flyers. I asked her to provide names of some of those people, but she hasn't. 
She also said she's referred some of her clients to outside employers. She did provide the names of two companies, but when I spoke to the only person I could reach from one of those companies, he told me she'd never sent anyone down and they'd never hired anyone. Regardless, employment agencies have to be licensed in the state of Michigan. Kira admitted to me her company has no license. As for the owner of the building, he is on parole for assault. I've been doing this job for a long time, but I can't say I've ever had anyone chuck a cone <laughs> at one of my cameramen. Kilo Monica? Unbelievable. Oh, Rob, that is a shame. Desperate people who need a job, all they get is a t-shirt. Yeah, it's And they have crazy. to pay for that. Yep, crazy, crazy thing. People are desperate, and uh, there was always about 100 people in that office. You figure 30 bucks a pop, that's three grand. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thank Rob. Thank you.